and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The last together. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Praise the Lord. May the Lord add his riches. Blessing to the reading of his holy word. Praise God. Praise him. Giving honor to God. My Father, his precious Son, Jesus Christ, the blessed Holy Spirit, who leads and guides, praise God, to the Pastor Will, Pastor Police, Pastor Brown, deacons, evangelists, missionaries, you sweet saints, I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning we are truly happy and glad that we are together again giving thanks to God. And this morning I just want to encourage us, all of this Brethren, is not idle. This is not, you know, in vain. This morning we sang, and the songwriter says, Oh, the love that drew salvation plan. Oh, the grace that brought it down to man. Oh, the mighty gulf that God did span at Calvary. This morning, let us be reminded that God, he gave up his son that we might live. Pray my strength in the Lord. Praise God. I now turn the service into the hands of Pastor Police and the praise team to do as the Lord leads. Praise God. Lord, my heart is yours. I give it all to you. I give you all the glory. Yes, I love you. My heart is yours. Lord, my heart is yours. I give it all to you. It all belongs to you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the glory. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. I want to tell you more. I want to tell you more. Oh, Lord, how much I really do love you. Lord, my heart is yours. Lord, my heart is yours. It all belongs, it to, all you. belongs to you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the glory. Yes, I love you. Yes, I love you. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. I want to tell you more. I want to tell you more. Oh, Lord, how much I really do love you. We're going to say that again. Lord, my heart is yours. Lord, my heart is yours. It all belongs to you. I give you all the glory. glory. Yes, I love you. I worship I want to tell you more. I want to tell you more. Oh, Lord, how much I really do love you. And I love you. Lord, how I love you. I love you. Lord, how I love you. I love you. Lord, my heart is yours. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. I give you all the glory. I give you all the 
of glory. Oh, yes, I love you. I worship and adore. I worship and adore. I want to tell you more. I want to tell you more. Oh, Lord, how much I really do love you. Yes, I love you. And I love you. Jehovah is 
your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name, Jehovah is your name. Come on and help me. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. We worship him this morning. Jehovah is your name. Come on and tell him, Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. We praise him this morning. Jehovah is your name. The great I am. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Oh, Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. He's in our presence. Jehovah is your name. We acknowledge him this morning. Jehovah is your name. Oh, 
of the Lord. Thank Welcome you. our pastor. Praise God, Pastor Wolf. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thee, Lord. Jehovah is his name. Come on and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come Praise on God. and shout hallelujah. 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 Jehovah is his name. He is a mighty warrior and he's great in battle. Jehovah Praise God. We're serving the mighty God this morning. The mighty warrior. The mighty warrior. The everlasting father. And he's our prince of peace. There is no God like Jehovah. There is no God like our God. Hallelujah. Mighty in battle. Hallelujah. Lift up your heads. O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Somebody say, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the king of glory. Who you need a warrior for to fight for you this morning? Amen. We are in battle. But we know today that the mighty warrior is fighting for us. And because of that, the battle is not ours. It is the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. We are victorious this morning. And we are victorious in Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody ought to give God a, a round of clap this morning. Hallelujah. I will mag come on and magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. And let us exalt his name together. The psalmist said, oh, taste and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. And none that put their trust in him will ever be ashamed. None that cometh unto him he will ever turn aside. And so our assurance and our confidence is in Jesus Christ. Come on and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. How oh, great, how oh, great is our God. And great is his name. He is the greatest one. And forever the same. He's the one that rolled back the waters. Oh. Hallelujah from the mighty Red Sea. Yes. And he's saying, I will lead you. We're going to trust him. Amen? Yes. Amen. Praise God. Turn your Bibles with me this morning to the book of Psalm, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. And we're going to read a few verses from Psalm 91 this morning. Very well known Psalm. But this morning, I thank God for the psalmists. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 91. And I'm just going to read you a few verses this morning from verse 1 down to verse 8. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, 
He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Verse 8, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Praise God. May the Lord add a rich blessing to the reading of his holy word. Praise God. You may be seated. Truly, we thank God this morning for another Sunday morning. The first day of August. Amen. Somebody say amen. I think that's their month. Praise God. And we thank God this morning for his keeping care, for his tender mercies. Jehovah is his name. And I'm so glad that we know his name. Because his name is powerful. His name is mighty. His name is above every name. There is security in his name. We thank him that he has allowed us to use his name. And this morning, we can depend on him because he stand by his name. His name speaks of his credibility. Hallelujah. We can trust him because there is no failure in our God. I honor him this morning because he is our God. He is my God. Hallelujah. And there is no shadow of turning in him. The choir always sings to, uh, for us. He is unshakable, unchangeable. He is unmovable. Hallelujah. Immutable. He is the same. Hebrews 13 and verse 8 says, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. My God changeth not. Hallelujah. Our God changeth not. There is no shadow of turning in him. And I'm so glad this morning. I honor this morning his servants, our pastors this morning, who are in the house. Come on and put your hands together and just give God a praise for his leaders in the house. Amen. We have uh, our, our leaders this morning, and we thank God for them. And we thank God for the way he's been using them for his glory and for his honor. Hallelujah. Our God is the awesome God. I thank God for all his children this morning who are in his house. Hallelujah. To be a child of God, it's, it's, it's very, very important. Because when you're a child of God, he is your father. And so he protects you. He covers you under his blood. We thank God for those who are watching us via electronic media this morning. And we know that there are people who are, who are sharing in our services from different, spot, different parts of the world. And we thank God for the opportunity that we can come into your bedrooms, your living rooms, and we can share the word of God. We can break bread in the name of Jesus. And there may be somebody who is listening this morning who has not yet met Jesus Christ. Today is your day. He says, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. Maybe you were walking with him, but something happened along the way, and the, the, the connection has been interrupted. Well, I'm here to tell you that Jesus is still here. And he is still calling men to himself. He is still drawing people to himself. He will not turn you away. None that cometh to you would he ever turn aside. But I'm so glad this morning that his arms are forever outstretched, beckoning us to come home. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. 
This morning, I want to take a few thoughts from the book of Psalm 91. And I, I probably will only get through to a few verses because this psalm has so much food for our soul. And we're talking about divine protection. We're talking about divine covering. We're talking about divine shelter. Divine security. In, in today's day, we, people look for security for their property. Amen. Especially when you have something or things of great value, you try to get some kind of security. And the level of security you will find will depend on the value of what you need to be secured. So if you have millions of, of, of dollars worth of things to protect, then you will look for uh, a security that will provide protection for that level. But if you only have a few hundred dollars, then you don't need much security. Hallelujah. But this morning we're talking about security for our soul. We're talking about security throughout eternity. And that to me is the greatest security. And that security is so, our soul is so valuable that man cannot secure it. It calls for divine protection. It calls for security of the highest order, and that is to be found in our master and creator and the God of the universe. And I want you to understand that your soul is valuable to God. We may take great care of our bodies. And the Bible says our body is the temple of the living God, and yes, we need to protect it. But Jesus tells us that we shouldn't worry about the ones who can only hurt the body, but we should look to the one who can hurt both body and soul. Because God has the power to reach beyond the body and to protect our soul. When Jesus died on Calvary, he didn't die for the body, but he died for our soul. He said to the man that was building all the barns, he said, thou fool. This night, your soul is required of you. And so while we take great care of the body, Jesus', Jesus attention is focused on our soul. Because it is the soul that will live forever. Are you with me? The body is only for a while. And if you notice it very carefully, as the years begin to ro roll over, it begins to change. Because it is in the process of dying. Oh, but the soul live on forever. And so the psalmist this morning brings our attention to God's amazing protection. And I was looking through, I was doing some research to try to find out who the author of this psalm is. And everywhere I looked, it said author unknown. Some ascribe this psalm to Moses. Some ascribed it to David, but there is no real assurance as to who the author is. But I know one thing is for sure. The person who authored this psalm had a relationship with God. The person who penned this psalm knew about God's divine protection. This is somebody who was a warrior for God and understand and understood that God is our ultimate protector and if there's ever a time we need protection it is now we're living in an age where things are going sideways but I thank God for divine protection amen divine protection divine protection means that the protection comes from a supernatural God a God that is outside of our time and outside of the sphere of the, our universe. A God, hallelujah, that can control the elements. And a God that has power over our enemies. And I want you to know that your greatest enemy is the enemy, Satan himself. Because an enemy of God is your enemy. Amen. An enemy of God is your enemy. I hear Christians say, well, I don't have any enemies. If you don't have any enemies, 
The Bible wouldn't say pray for your enemy. But I want you to understand that our enemy, our greatest enemy is Satan. And then Satan influences others to try to get to us. But thanks be to God, we have divine protection. So the psalmist starts out by saying, he says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is no restriction as to who that individual is. He that dwelleth. It doesn't matter who you are or where you come from. If you dwell in the secret place of God, you will abide under God's almighty shadow. Now, the question is, what is God's secret place? Because oftentimes we read the psalm and we try to, we don't even think about where God's secret place is. Some people, well, while we may not know what it is, we know for sure some things that it is not. It, it, it says that it's his secret place. Somebody said, well, the secret place is in your prayer closet where you meet God. Well, that is your secret place, not God's. So it's not your prayer closet. This is God's secret place. And the Bible said that God's secret, he will share with them that fear him. So in order for you to find God's secret place, you have to have a relationship with God. And when you have a relationship with God, then you will know where his secret place is. Now this psalm, it is known as the psalm of protection. And even people who don't have a relationship with God believe in the psalm. Some will have it open in their car. Some will have it open at their head of their bed. Some have it open on their nightstand. But I'm here to tell you that unless you have it open in your heart, you will not receive that divine protection. It doesn't matter where you put it. If it's not on the inside, it will not help you. David said, thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. The word of God needs to be in our heart. When I say in our heart, I'm not speaking about in our chest. But it has to be up here. It has to be in the seat of intelligence. The place, is where, the place where our decision making comes from. That is where the word of God has to be hid. Because the word of God has to guide our direction. It has to guide our decision. It has to guide everything that we do. David said, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. So the word of God gives us direction. The word of God gives us light. It illuminates where we need to go. Hallelujah. Then Jesus said, thy word, these words that I have spoken unto you, they are spirit and they are life, and they have power to impart eternal life. So there is something special about the word of God. It is the word of God that cleans us up. Jesus said this, the, 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 the word, the word, the word, the word, it will clean you and get you ready for the Holy Spirit. So the psalmist says, when you dwell in the secret place, the secret place is God's place, hallelujah, where you can enter in and you can live. Because when you dwell somewhere, you live there. You don't come in for a moment, but you, 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 you live there because, hallelujah, you are under God's protection. And so he says, when you dwell in the secret place, when you live in the secret place, I'm not talking about vacationing in the secret place, but when you live there, then you are under God's protection. What is God's secret place? The secret place of God is where God dwells. Amen. Now for the Jews... The secret place was the holies of holies. But only some people could get into the holies of holies. Hallelujah. But thanks be to God. Through Jesus Christ, we now have access to God. We can approach God. 
And so when we think about God's secret place, God's secret place is Jesus Christ. Because when you abide in Christ, hallelujah, Jesus says, if you abide in me, hallelujah, and my word abide in you, you can ask what you will, and it shall be done. So when we think about God's secret place, God's secret place is in his word. God's secret place is in Christ. God's secret place is his will. When you dwell in God's will, when you dwell in God's word, when you dwell in Jesus Christ, the Bible says you are under divine protection. When you abide in God, when you abide in God, your prayers get answered. When you abide in God, your life, hallelujah, is secured in God. Hallelujah. Paul says we are hid in Christ in God. That's where our security is. And when, you are, when your life is hid in Christ in God, then you are divinely protected. He said when you dwell in the secret place of the Most High, you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can experience somebody's shadow when you are close to them. When you are close to the individual, then their shadow will fall on you. And it's amazing how God's shadow can create a difference in your life. The Bible tells us under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, when Peter walked through Jerusalem, just his shadow, just his shadow would fall on the sick and they would be healed. This was the servant of God. Now can you imagine God's shadow himself? Divine protection. And so the psalmist says, when you dwell in God's secret place, you will ab and you abide, you will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. When you dwell in God's secret place, God will cover you. What will he cover you from? He will cover you from the plans of the enemy. Hallelujah. There are believers today who are afraid of fear itself. Just the word fear. And they become afraid. But thank God. Because he's our refuge. Amen. The psalmist moves on to say. I will say of the Lord. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. And my fortress. Psalm 46 tells us that the Lord. Is our refuge and strength. Hallelujah. The Lord is our refuge and strength. A very present help in times of trouble. God will be there in times of trouble. But I want you to understand that when you dwell in the secret place, you don't only call on God when you are in trouble. When you are in the secret place, you have fellowship with God. You are in a relationship with God. You don't wait, hallelujah, for hard times to come for you to fast and pray. But you are constantly communing with God because you like, hallelujah, to hang out with God. You like to spend time with God because he is your father. He's your friend. Amen. And I'm so glad that when father and mother forsake you, the Lord will take you up. When people disassociate themselves with you, God will cover you. Hallelujah. When sickness ravishes the body, God will protect you. He will cover you under his almighty wings. The Bible, the psalmist say, I will say of the Lord. You know why he could say of the Lord? Because he experienced God. When you experience God, you can talk about God. And this is why believers ought to talk about God. And not ought to, but you enjoy talking about God because you have experienced God for who he is. And so the man of God said, I will say of the Lord. And Lord there means Jehovah. Jehovah is his name. I will say of Jehovah, he is my refuge and my fortress. He is my deliverer. Come on, somebody. God is my deliverer. He is our refuge and strength. A very present help in times of trouble. 
Amen. Amen. And we are in trouble. The world is in trouble. Amen. Amen. And it's so sad that Christians seem to be troubled too. We, we, we have the coronavirus coming around. And Christians are more troubled than sinners. People are worried. Lord, I wonder what's going to happen. When the Bible says he will protect you. He will give his angels charge over you. Hallelujah. God says he will cover you. Do you trust God? Do you believe in God? Or do you believe in man? Put your money where your testimony is. If you trust God, then you lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him. I'm not saying for us to go around and to behave ignorantly, but you know, hallelujah, you know what is nonsense and what is truth. Don't allow people to sway your mind. Stand firm on the word of God because God will protect us. And Jesus told us in St. Matthew 24, he says, before he returns, there will be pestilence on the land. He says, you will find stuff will be happening that will surprise many. Oh, hallelujah. But because we are anchored in Jesus Christ, because we are anchored in Christ Jesus, we are not moved by winds of doctrine. We are not moved, hallelujah, by what man says. But our soul is anchored in the word of God. Hallelujah. Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold, their wings of strife. When the strong tide lift and the cable strain. Will your anchor drift or firm remain? Oh, but we have an anchor that keeps our soul steadfast and sure while the billows roll fasten to that rock hallelujah that cannot move grounded somebody ought to say grounded grounded firm and deep in our savior's love where is your anchor today where are you dwelling in god's secret place hallelujah because god will cover you my God in him will I trust. My God in him will I trust. Proverbs says, hallelujah, trust in the Lord. Hallelujah, with some of your heart. Oh, hallelujah, trust in the Lord when things are running smooth. Trust in the Lord when the mortgage is paid. Trust in the Lord when your health is 100%. Oh, God, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not to your own understanding. You know why? Because sometimes the way we perceive things in our mind is not the way it is. A lot of it is based on our perception or the idea that Satan brings to our mind. And Satan tell you it's finished. Brother, it's over. God said, I'm just getting started. Because what the enemy meant for evil, God will turn it around so that his name can be glorified. I tell you, Satan is a deceiver. And a deceiver will come with deceit. Somebody who is deceitful will cause you to believe something that is not the truth. But I thank God for the word of God. And the Bible says, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man, hallelujah, trust in the word of God. Whatever God says, that's what I'm going to believe. Because Satan, oh glory to God, 1 Peter 5, 1 Peter 5, 1 Peter 5, hallelujah. And verse 7, this is Peter who, who was tried and tested, but the man knew about God. He experienced God. He says, casting all your care upon him. Not him, Peter, but Jesus, because he cared for you. I'm here to tell somebody that Jesus cares for you. Jesus loves you. And Peter goes on to say, to understand that he cares for you. Then he said, be sober. Hallelujah. Don't be intoxicated with the world's stuff. Oh, hallelujah. 
we have so much TV in us that we become intoxicated. We have so much worldly music that we become intoxicated. We listen to so much garbage that it becomes intoxicating. Hallelujah. We listen to people's sorry story that we take these stories and they become our own. But the Bible said be sober. Hallelujah. Be vigilant. Be aware. Be on the alert. Open up your eyes. Open up your spiritual eyes and begin to look around. Ask God to give you the spirit of discernment so you can see what God sees and know what God is doing. Peter said, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, your adversary is not your friend. Your adversary is your opponent. Your adversary is the devil. The devil, sometimes he dresses up like your friend. The devil, sometimes he becomes your close confidant. The devil, sometimes he becomes your associate. But Peter said, be sober, be vigilant because you have an adversary. All over scripture we find people dressing up to be somebody else with the idea to deceive. The Bible talks about a group of folks called the Gibeonites. The Gibeonites were neighbors to Israel. But they heard about how God was fighting for Israel. And so they went, hallelujah, and they went to make a league with them. But they didn't show that they were their neighbors. They got some old clothes. They got some moldy bread. Hallelujah. They had on some raggedy stuff. And when they came to the people of God, they said, men, we came from a distant land. We left home with the bread good. But because of how far we've traveled, the bread becomes stale. Our clothes were, it was intact. But no, the clothes is torn off because we're coming from far. But we've heard about you. We've heard about your God. And so we want to make a league with you that when you're fighting, you won't hurt us. Oh, but the people of God were not very vigilant. And so they formed a league with them. They made a treaty with them. And when the true colors became uncovered, it was too late. They had already made a bargain. Don't you bargain with the devil because he will not fight fear. Hallelujah. The Bible says he comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Hallelujah. Don't you hang out where Satan hang out. Hallelujah. You've got to be alert. You've got to be sober. You've got to be vigilant. Because we are against a real enemy. And his plan is to destroy your soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When Joshua and the crew realized who the men were, oh, they went to God. But they couldn't change it. They had already made a deal. And so when they wanted to kill them, they couldn't kill them because they made a deal. And so the land that they were supposed to possess, they could not possess it. Because in order to possess it, you have to kill the enemy. But you can't kill them because you have already made them your friend. Hallelujah. But the Bible says we got to be sober, yes? And, and because we have an adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion. You know what a roaring lion does? Make a lot of noise. <laughs> the lion is not the largest animal in the jungle. But when he roars, the elephant responds and so that's what satan does he creates situation that seem like a mountain amen and we cower in fear when our god is the mountain mover hallelujah satan creates situations that cause us to be fearful when i hear god says fear not fear not Fear not, for I am with you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So Satan is our adversary. He's the devil. As a roaring lion, he's walking about. And he's seeking whom 
he may devour. That's serious. That means if you are not vigilant, he will devour you. If you are not vigilant, if you are not sober, if your eyes are not open, he will devour you. But God is giving us the way how to overcome the enemy. In one scripture, he said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Don't reason with him. You can't outsmart him. He's been around long before you were. He has more experience than you do. He's been fighting righteousness for a long time. Don't reason with the enemy. Run for your life. Amen. And take the word of God with you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He shall come. Listen. He says, surely he shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler. Who is a fowler? A fowler is somebody who captures birds. And they skillfully set their snares or traps to capture birds. And what the Bible is saying that Satan is calculating his next attack. He doesn't come at you haphazard, but he calculates. He sits down and he plans because he has to find a way to get you to fall. Amen. Amen. He just doesn't come at you haphazard and say, let me hit him today. Oh, but he watches your move. And he listens to what you say. All those negative things you've been talking, oh, he's coming with you at it. All them negative things you've been, put, you've been saying over your own self. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, I don't think I have what it takes. Oh, I'm not as smart as they are. Yeah. Hallelujah. And we begin to put ourselves down. Amen. Well, that's what Satan uses. Because he's not omnipotent. He's not omniscient. But he goes by what you say. And so the things that you say can be used to defeat you. Amen. Amen. So he says that, and, and this is what the Lord is saying. He's saying he will deliver you from the sneer of the fowler. Those plans that Satan has concocted. Because he will, he will set the sneers, but you, won't, you don't have to fall. You don't have to get caught in the trap. Because God is your protector. Amen? The traps will be set, but God will fly the trap. God will make a way of escape. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you shall be condemned because God is with you. You know why he's with you? Because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. He says he shall, and, 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 and he will keep you from the noisome pestilence. Amen. And this pestilence is noisome. So it makes me wonder if it is a pestilence or destruction that is spoken. And so it becomes loud. But whatever it is, God will protect you. Come on, Pastor B. Satan went to God. Have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered my servant Brown? Have you considered... My servant police, do you think they serve you for naught? Oh, but touch what they got. The, hallelujah. He is an accuser of the brethren. That's Satan. Not your friend, but your adversary. And then he said he will, he will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. This writer is, is showing us ways that we can understand. God is now coming down in human form. And you know how the mother hen, those of you who are from the country, I know some of us just eat chicken. <laughs> Amen. But when, the, when you have the chicken, <laughs> Amen. When you, got, when you see the chicken, Hallelujah. The mother hen has a way of protecting 
her brood. Amen. That's a fancy word for saying the young chicks. Amen. And the chicks, because of their lack of experience, because of the lack of wisdom, because of their baby stage, they cannot see the danger that is lurking around. You see, there is something called the hawk. And then we call it the chicken hawk. And they hoover in the ear. Now, these guys have good vision. Amen. And they can spot the vulnerable from afar. Oh, hallelujah. You see, I tell you, we are no match for Satan. But whatever we do, we do it in the name of Jesus. Whatever we do it, we do it under the protection of the blood of Jesus. Because the blood is the what gives us the power. The blood gives us the power. The blood gives us the security. The blood allows us to use the name of Jesus. So by our own, on our own, we are vulnerable. Amen. Amen. We are vulnerable. And so the hawk is flying up there. And the chicken don't even realize what's going on. Oh, but the mother hen makes a sound. And she begins to call. And you see they begin to run under her wings. And when everybody is under the wing, then the wing closes and mommy become defensive. Even you as the owner. You can't touch one of those chickens. Because she is the protector. God is saying I want to protect you. But when I call you to come under my wings. You need to listen to my voice. When I call you to come home for protection. You need to know God's voice. He said my sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me as Lord. You need to know God's voice. There are times when the hawk is lurking. Satan is lurking. He's lurking around your marriage. He's lurking around your children. He's lurking around your soul. Lurking around your health. And God is saying, come. And you are saying, no. And God is saying, come. Come on to my wings. Let me protect you. Let me cover you. But we resist, hallelujah. And we rebel. And the hawk comes around. And he has one purpose. And that is to destroy us. Oh, but Jesus is saying, come for protection. Come for protection. Come because the danger is lurking. Satan is about to land a blow. Oh, hallelujah. And I hear him calling some young people. And he's calling some teenagers. And he's saying, come to me. Come, let me give you life. Come, let me give you hope. Come, let me secure you from the attacks of the enemy. And he's tenderly calling today. Hallelujah. He's saying, come. And if we could understand chicken talk. We would hear the mommy chicken say, come. You know, you hear me, I call you. Come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Christ is saying, come. Oh, glory to God. But when we resist, hallelujah. Because the mother hen can see the danger. The mother hen not only sees, but she can sense the danger. Because the hawk makes a certain sound. Ooh, hallelujah. And the mother hen knows when danger is lurking. And sometimes God gives his leaders a word. And the pastor said, come. Oh, but I don't want to hear from that man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I remember when God was getting ready to wipe out Ahab. <laughs> and he was going to align with... Uh, Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat said, I will not go to battle unless I get a word from God. I'm not going to any battle unless God says go. So Jehoshaphat said, listen, let's get a prophet. When the prophet came, wicked Ahab said, this prophet, me don't want to hear from him. 
because he has never prophesied anything good. You see, these are the days when we're looking for prophets to prophesy blessings over our lives. Oh, hallelujah. And I want you to know that there are people sometimes who are not living right. And they want you to bless them. They want you to make them prosper. But I, I'm here to tell you that if you want to prosper, you better walk in the counsel of God's word. Delight in the law of the Lord. And he says you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth fruit in its season. That's where the blessing is. And so Ahab said, I don't want to hear from that prophet. Because he never prophesied anything good. He said, Jehoshaphat, you don't have another prophet. But there is no other word but the word of God. There is no other word than what God says. Are you with me, church? Don't look for another word. Because if God says you got to go through the narrow gate, you better go through the narrow gate. It doesn't matter who tell you otherwise. That's what God says. And anybody who tells you different is a liar. And I want you to know that when you had a false prophet in the Old Testament, and when what they prophesied didn't come to pass, they were killed. They weren't allowed to live in the land because deception was not supposed to prevail among the righteous. Are you with me, church? Hallelujah! So Ahab said there's got to be another prophet. Well, there was a group in heaven. And the voice said, who will go and go lie to Ahab? A lying spirit jumped up and said, yes, I will go. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that there are lying spirits out there. Lying spirits. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians 11 that Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. And it's no hard thing to transform his ministers into ministers of righteousness. Whoa. That's, that's, that's Paul. And so what you have were lying. There were people, there were false prophets who were standing up and saying, yes, we are the real prophets. And Paul said, come show me your evidence. Show me your evidence. I know I'm a prophet of God. I can show you what God has done through me. Show me your evidence. Because the, 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 the fruit. Oh, hallelujah. The quality of the pudding is in the taste. So the lying spirit got up and went and went into a prophet. A lying spirit. You see, if you, are not, if you are not prayed up, if you are not prayed up, spirits will get into you. And so the spirit went into a prophet and he stood before the men of God. And he said, Joseph, go to battle because God said go. But you know what was going to happen? This was time for Ahab to die. When you don't believe the truth, a lie is waiting for you. And the Bible says, Jesus said, I come in my father's name. And you don't receive me. But there is one coming in his own name. He you will receive. So when you don't receive the truth, you're opening up yourself for a lie. And I want you to know, Lord, the time is winding. When Ahab went to battle with Jehoshaphat, the Bible said that he disguised himself. Ahab. But when God is ready for you, it doesn't matter how you hide. He will find you. The Bible said he dressed up and he looked like somebody else. When the enemy saw him, they said, but wait. He looked like somebody else. But he ride like Ahab. There is something about you that will give you away. And the Bible said that there was an archer. Somebody with a bow and arrow. And he, he threw his bow and arrow. Went through the harness. They had protection. Went through the, the fifth rib. 
When we talk about accuracy, the apex of the heart, the biggest part of the heart is by the fifth rib. The part of the heart that pumps the blood to the outside is located on the left side, right between the fifth and the sixth rib. These guys didn't study anatomy, but God gave that arrow direction. And the Bible said when it hit Ahab, he went down. Ahab went down in the chariot. Nobody knew that Ahab was hit. Ahab bled for the whole day in the chariot. You know what happened to him? The dogs came and licked his blood because a true prophet had prophesied that the dogs would lick your blood. I'm here to tell you that when God speaks a word, it will come to pass. It is only God that can remove it. Hallelujah. But God says, I will protect you because you live in the secret place of the Most High. He says he will cover you under his feathers. Hallelujah. Under his wings, you shall trust. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God's protection is over you. There was a time when God told Israel, he said, Israel, the plagues, the diseases that afflicted Egypt, they will not afflict you. They won't afflict you. And God said, this is what you got to do. Are you with me? The Jews started to wash their hands. When you wash your hands, it's one of the surest ways to get rid of microorganisms. The next thing God gave them were dietary laws. And today you find the church resisting these dietary laws. And they are saying, oh, that was under the old covenant. Well, let me tell you something. And let me share something with you. All those animals that God said don't eat, they were unclean. They, were, they would defile the body. God had a reason for saying don't eat it because he was protecting his people from diseases. Oh, but today we have become so liberal. And we say, well, we are under the new covenant and that does not stand. However, we still love the God that does not change. And so when we think about the word of God, if you want to be prosperous, you got to stay in the word of God. Are you with me? Hallelujah. I'm not saying that you have to observe the dietary laws to be saved. But I'm saying if you want to be healthy, if you want to live long, if you want to live a healthy life, follow the Bible. Amen. Amen. And then guess what? When you live healthy and you live long, you can do more for God. You can, you, you can do, and not just do more for God, but you can do it well. You know what I'm saying? So when you come to church to worship, you don't have all kinds of pain and all kinds of ache, but you can lift holy hands and you can say, thank you, Jesus, because of what you have done for me. So I'm not advocating that you have to do it to be saved. I'm saying you want to be healthy. Do what God says. Amen. 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 I could tell you about all the different animals that we eat that raises our cholesterol. But you might not want to hear that. So let's move on. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. So God is saying, and I'm winding up now. He says, he will cover you with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. And I think we're going to stop at verse 4. He says, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Amen? Amen? His truth. The truth is the word of God. And the word of God gives double protection. There is the shield. Now the shield is what the soldiers wear on their arm. And so when they're fighting, they put it up. Do you know that sometimes when they're fighting, all the soldiers would gather together and they all put up their shield. And, and it becomes one big shield. Because, oh, come on, Pastor Police. There are times when the church is fighting, and the church is fighting together. And so every believer 
put up their shield. So we form one big monstrous shield that, oh, glory to God. When we are together, he said one will chase a thousand. How about two? Then suppose you do four. Oh, and then six. It begins to multiply exponentially. And so you find that there is more when we come together. Amen. There is something called super additivity. And what that means is you take two things and you add them to you, you add their individual value and you get a number. But when you put them together and you add the effect of the two together, it passes the number that you get when you add them individually. Oh, did somebody get that? When you are together and you join forces, the effect is greater than when you fight individually. And so God says, I'm going to give you a double protection. He says, I'm going to give, my truth shall be your shield. And then he says, the buckler. The buckler is the coat of males. They used to wear this metal coat that would provide protection for the whole body. This was what Saul had. When David tried it on, and David put on Saul's coat, it was too heavy. Because Saul was over seven, maybe over eight feet. Because Goliath was over nine feet. And so Saul was the only one that would be able to stand against Goliath. But he ran away for fear. <laughs> Are you with me, church? <laughs> Glory to God. But God is saying that my word will give you double protection. It will be the shield and the buckler. And the buckler provides an overall covering that when you put on that coat of mail, nothing can penetrate it. God's protection is the best protection that we can ever have. Stay in God's will. Stay under God's umbrella. Stay in the word of God. Stay in the will of God. And experience God's amazing protection. He says he will give his angels charge over thee. Oh, we didn't go through a quarter of the sermon. I will, he says he will give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, lest thou dash the Lord. Somebody say it was for Jesus. It's for us too. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Stand to your feet and give God a praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and give God a praise one more time. Come on, somebody ought to worship him this morning. Somebody ought to worship the King of Kings. Somebody ought to worship the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. He is worthy, worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. There is, we're going to go into our Lord's Supper, but there is somebody I want to pray for. Pastor the police is going to sing a song for us. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is putting something on her heart. And there is somebody. I want to pray for one individual this morning. You are in the house of God. God wants to touch you this morning. I don't know who you are. I'm not going to call you by name. But if you're here and you need the Lord to touch you, would you come and we'll pray. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. I need thee. Hallelujah. Every, Every hour, I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to. Jesus, glory to God. I need thee. Yes, Lord. I 
Yes, Lord, we bless your name. Yeah. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to Lord, we thank you. Lord, we exalt you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we exalt your holy name. We lift you up this morning. You are our king. You are our deliverer. You are our redeemer. You are our strong tower. You are our hope this morning. Lord, we believe, hallelujah, that power is in your name. Yes. We believe you for our victory this morning. Yes. We believe you for our deliverance. We believe you for our freedom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. your sister has come this morning. Lord, you know what is going on in her body. Lord Jesus Christ, she is with child. Lord, I pray for your covering this morning over her life. Every step that she takes, God, let her take it with you. Father God, even as she goes through this time of pregnancy, hallelujah, Jesus, we believe in you for that miracle child that is growing in her womb. Lord God, you told Jeremiah, before you were formed in your mother's womb, I knew you. Lord God Almighty, this baby that is coming to form, you know her. You know her frame. You know her makeup. We thank you for her. We thank you for her life. Lord, we surrender her into your hands. Lord God Almighty, this child is going to come out in your name. 
and this child will be a child of God. Your hand is upon this child and we give you praise and glory. This child, hallelujah, will be, hallelujah, a testimony of your awesomeness. This child will not be an ordinary child. Oh God, but from the time that she comes out, this child will be a blessing even as she begins to bless others. Lord God, I give you glory this morning. And I tell you thanks, Lord Jesus. God Almighty, this child is divinely ordered, divinely called, divinely placed. And we give you praise and glory. I thank you for the, her mother this morning. I pray you bless her, Lord. Oh, God Almighty, give her favor even as she goes through this pregnancy. I pray you cover her, Lord. Keep her from the plans of the enemy. Lord, even the food that she eats, my God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Let it, let it be nourishing to this child that this child will come out and do what you have called her to do in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the victory this morning. Oh God, I pray even for Richard this morning. I pray for Richard's salvation. I pray that when Richard looks at this woman of God, that he will see Christ in her and he will make that surrender before it is too late. Hallelujah, Jesus. I pray that you would put your hands upon this couple. I pray, oh God, that you would bless them going out and they're coming in. Bring Richard into the fold, my God, and help him to make that unconditional surrender before it is too late. Whatever journey, Lord, she's about to take, go with her, Lord. Even as she returns with her son to college, we pray for journeying mercies. We pray for your protection. We pray for your hand upon Josiah. Keep him from the plans of the enemy. Keep him from the sneer of the fowler. Keep him from the noisome pestilence. Oh God, let Josiah surrender his life into your hands. So that everything that he does on that track, Lord, will give you glory and honor. We ask these mercies in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you, ma'am. God bless you. Hallelujah, Father. Mr. Brother Vince is standing before you this morning. Oh, God, we have no one else to look to but you. You are the author and the finisher of his faith. Lord, we thank you that what the enemy meant for evil, you're going to turn it around for your good. Lord, we understand that the kingdom suffered violence. Oh, hallelujah. Satan does not fight fear. But we're not giving him any glory. We're serving him notice. We're saying the blood of Jesus Christ is against you and your kingdom. Rebuke, hallelujah, the plan of the enemy, Lord. Give this man the victory in the name of Jesus. The blood prevails this morning. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ prevails. We declare victory in this man's life, God. Father, what Satan sent his way, the arrows that came in his direction, we pray you turn them back in the name of Jesus. We pray, oh God, that you give him a discerning spirit this morning, that when he stand up, God, he would see, hallelujah, that there are more with him that there are that are against him. Give him a vision, God, of the heavenly host that is standing with him. Give him an insight, God, of the glory that you have awaiting him. Lord, where his faith is weak, we pray, oh God, you would strengthen it this morning in the name of Jesus. We pray you touch his mind, the seat of his intelligence, we pray, oh God, that you reform his mind this morning. That you give him the faith that he once had to believe you for his victory. To believe you for his deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord God Almighty, we speak life over him. We speak victory over him. We speak deliverance over him. 
in the name of Jesus. Whatever plan the enemy has, we say the blood of Jesus Christ is against you. This man will stand up, hallelujah, and be counted as one that has been delivered by the blood of Jesus Christ in his home, God. Your presence will stand on his job, Father. He will be able to function on his job. He will be able to function under the anointing of your Holy Spirit. Lord God Almighty, we give you praise. We give you glory because all power is in your name, Jesus. Lord, you came to destroy the works of Satan. And so we declare victory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We tell you thanks, oh God. Father, I believe that you have already touched him. But I pray you reaffirm it in his spirit. Hallelujah. Reaffirm it in his mind. Let him take you at his word. Believing, oh God, that whatever you have promised, you will bring it to pass. And so we give you praise. We give you glory. And we tell you thanks this morning. Lord, we thank you for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Lord God, break every yoke this morning. Every stronghold of the enemy. Every plan of Satan. The blood of Jesus Christ is against you. And we say, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on this young man. Anoint him from the crown of his head to the very sole of his feet. Put a word in his mouth, O oh God. Hallelujah, Jesus. A prophetic word in his mouth, God. That when he stands to declare your word in this generation, victory will come to the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God bless you, my brother. Give God praise. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your daughter this morning. Father, I believe, Lord, that there's a covering. Hallelujah. That you have over this young woman. The enemy has tried to destroy her. Oh, God. But the fact that she's standing in your house this morning... Is testimony of the divine protection that you have not just over her, but over her household. Lord, I thank you. Satan's plan was to frustrate her, for her to throw her hands in the ear and give up. Satan wanted to frustrate her, frustrate all her efforts, frustrate all the progress that you have made in her, in her life. But Father God, I thank you. That your hands of protection are over her. God, I thank you that what Satan was putting together, what hell was concocting, I thank you for divine intervention. Lord God, she's engaged in some battles this morning, but I believe in the name of Jesus that the blood of Jesus Christ is going to bring her out. Oh God, it has been a struggle. It has been a fight, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. The enemy wants to come in. Hallelujah. And even infiltrate the children. But in the name of Jesus. 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 Name of Jesus we declare victory this morning. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. Hallelujah, Jesus. Those bills will be paid. God is already working it out. Somebody ought to give God praise because the blood of Jesus is real this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. This woman has been engaged in warfare. My God Almighty, Satan has been trying, oh God, to unseat her and to create a mess. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, put a wall of protection around your daughter. In the name of Jesus, we speak victory over her life, God. Lord, this woman has opened her mouth unto you. She made a vow unto you. I pray, God, that you would help her see her through God. See her through her valleys. See her through this wilderness. See her through this dark passage. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. Let your angels encamp round about her. Breathe on her, breath of God. Fill her with life anew. Raise her up, God. Revive her spirit, God. Revive her spirit, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lift a standard, oh God. Lift a standard, oh God. Lift a standard in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. God our heart. God our heart. God our heart, Lord. God our heart, Lord. Strengthen her. Cover her, Lord. Father, I'm so glad that the past does not have to be our future. Oh, God, the, the places that we have gone through, oh, hallelujah, we don't have to go back there. Glory to God. Oh, but Canaan's land is where we are headed. Give her the victory this morning. Deliver her, God, from the traps of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Father, we thank you for this young woman of God. Lord, you know her uprising and her downsetting. Lord, you know her thoughts from afar off. My God, your hands are upon her life. Lord, there is purpose in her, destiny in her. You put it there, God. Oh, but the enemy is trying to stop her. The enemy is trying to discourage her. And he uses discouragement in so many ways. Even the apostles who you called were faced with discouragement. They were faced, God, with different obstacles. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you told Peter, you said, Peter, Satan's desire is to sift you. But I prayed for you. When you are converted, strengthen your brethren. This woman of God, Father, whatever she's going through this morning, you see the weight on her heart. Jesus, when we don't understand, and man tries to judge their fear, Lord, you know the intricacies. And I believe, God, that whatever trial she's going through, divine God, it's a stepping stone for bigger and greater things. Job said before the trials, I heard about you. But after the trials, I know who you are. I know that you're a God of deliverance. You're a God of victory. And so we thank you, Lord. For the trial. Father God, there are some things that the enemy has been putting together. But I'm so glad that no weapon that is formed against your children shall prosper. I'm so glad this morning that the devil is already defeated. And so victory, Lord, is already ours. And so we say thank you this morning for the victory. Thank you for the deliverance. Thank you for the open door. Jesus, you have already made a way. And so we thank you. We thank you. We exalt you, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. The trials will serve as a reminder of where we are coming from. That when you have taken us there, oh, we will remember 
where you have brought us from. And so even now, Lord, I pray that even as she begin to aspire to work in your kingdom, that God, not only would you create opportunities, but God, you would fill her, fill her up with your spirit so that when she stand divine God, she will declare your name. Hallelujah. Man will try to stop her, but Jesus, you have already made a way. And so I thank you for the victory this morning. Lord, I thank you for her son. Lord, I thank you for making a way. Hallelujah, God, because you have already made a way. Lord, the victory is already hers. And we're just here to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, because you have already made a way. Lord, you have already made a way. And we just want to say thank you for the victory this morning. Let the church say amen. Let the church rejoice. Let the church say hallelujah. 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 We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come, Daniel. Hallelujah. Daniel. Hallelujah. She's not too young, God. For you to use her. She's not too young. For you to place. Your word in her heart. She's not too young. For the anointing. To grab a hold of her. And so before the world. Pollute her. Grab a hold of her heart. Plant a seed in that little heart. That as she grows. Your word will grow with her. Oh she can be a giant in your kingdom. She can be a Mary. A Deborah, a Lydia. Hallelujah. Lord, there is no limit to what you can do through a yielded life. This young girl can come up, Lord God, to be a mighty warrior in your kingdom. Protect her, Lord. Shield her. Go before her. And let your Holy Spirit abide with her. Oh, we ask it this morning in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you, my darling. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. At this time, we know we're moving into the Lord's Supper. Praise God. Pastor Police is going to lead us in our songs of worship. And let us keep our hearts and minds focused on Christ on what he did for us at Calvary. And this morning, if you have been washed in his blood, you're in a relationship with him, feel free to share with us because God has given us this liberty. And he says, as often as you do it, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. God bless you. Pastor Police. Break down the bread of life Dear Lord, to me, as thou didst break the love's beside the sea, yonder the I seek thee, Lord. 
partaking if you're partaking please stand let's save me me to eat and live You may be seated, praise God. You may be seated, please. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Somebody ought to give him praise this morning. Somebody ought to thank him this morning. It's okay to praise him. It's okay to praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God. 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 He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy, church. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ransom me. Glory to God. He paid the debt. Hallelujah. And he set me free everywhere I go. I want the world to know that it's the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him, somebody. Just worship him this morning. Just wave your hands and tell him thank you. Hallelujah. Just bless his holy name. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is here this morning. Come on and worship him. Open your mouth and just tell him thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Worthy. Worthy. Worthy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your majestic name. We bless your holy name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 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 thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yes, Lord. We bless your name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name. He's worthy this morning. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Spirit of God is here this morning. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom in the house. Chains are broken. Hallelujah. When we give God praise. Hallelujah. Chains are broken. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Somebody is receiving a miracle even now. A blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your body. We thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Let it be like manner to our souls be given. Bread of life came down from heaven. We thank you, Lord, for these emblems that we are about to receive. Hallelujah, Jesus. Take them for what they are and make them what you would have them to be. That as we partake, my God, we'll partake of the abundant life that is to be found in Christ Jesus. Make us worthy this morning to partake. If there is any, any sin, anything in our lives that would, Lord God, hinder us from partaking worthily, we pray you remove it right now in the name of Jesus. That as we partake, my God, it will be a blessing and not a curse. We give you praise Hallelujah. even now. We give you praise even now. And we say thank you. Thank you for this privilege to be able to share in your body and in your blood. Let it be a blessing, we pray. Let it bring healing. Let it bring deliverance. And most of all, Lord God, help us to celebrate what you did for us on Calvary. Knowing, oh God, that it was the price that was paid for our redemption. And so we say thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for your healing miracle. Lay your hand on Pastor Brown's leg this morning. 
in the name of Jesus. We pray for a divine healing right now for your servant. Oh God, that as he stands, hallelujah, strength and sensitivity will be restored 100% in that leg. In the name of Jesus, open up those blood vessels, my God, and allow the blood to flow freely. Hallelujah, from the tip of his toes all the way back to the heart. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. When he returns to the doctor, let them be surprised at the healing miracle that you have performed. Father, we thank you. Oh, we believe, oh God, that you are our deliverer this morning. And so we thank you. Thank you for the victory right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. On the night he was betrayed. Oh, he, yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yay. Yay. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We receive it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We say, yes, Lord. Yes. We thank you. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for the victory. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody ought to tell him thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your healing miracle. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have thine own way, Holy Ghost. Evangelist Sandra, could you touch Pastor Police for me? Just touch, just touch her. Come and touch her in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Just touch her, just touch her, just touch her, just touch her. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Hey, Jesus. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for the victory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for the victory. Father, your hands are upon your daughter. And so we thank you. Your hands are upon your daughter. And for that, Lord, we thank you. We thank you that your hands are upon your daughter in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They, they are. We're serving. We're serving. We're serving the Almighty, the Almighty God. And sometimes there are things that we might not understand. But we thank Him because He has already made a way. And I hear God saying that He has already made a way. I hear God saying He has already made a way. And sometimes we don't know, hallelujah, what lies before us. But when God says he, had already, he has already made a way, we know that victory is ours in the name of Jesus. And so we can go with the assurance that there shall no evil before me. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to move on with the Lord's Supper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. On, on the night he was betrayed, hey! He took the bread. Hallelujah. After he had given thanks. He gave it unto his disciples saying, this is my body that is broken for you. As often as you eat, you do show the Lord's death until he comes. Eat ye all of it. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. After the same manner, he took the cup. After he had given thanks, he gave it unto the disciples saying, This is the New Testament in my blood that is shed for you. As often as you drink, you do show the Lord's death until he come. Drink ye all of it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It was alone my Savior prayed in dark Gethsemane alone he bore the bitter cup he suffered and died alone Alone, alone, Christ bore it all. Alone, He gave Himself to save. 
suffered, he bled and died alone, alone. It was alone, all alone, Christ bore it all, alone, he gave himself to say. He bled and died alone, all alone. It was alone, alone. Christ bore it all. He bled and died alone, alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Nah. Bless your name. Glory Lord. to God. Thank you. Jesus, Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You know, when you are walking with the Lord, and, you, and these songs are being sung. It, someone inside you has to respond. Because these songs carry meaning. Hallelujah. And we are just so grateful to God for his loving kindness and his tender mercies. You know, Lamentations, Jeremiah said that if it hadn't been for God's loving kindness oh, yes. and tender mercy, we would have been consumed. Yes. But thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Grace and mercy has been extended to us. And we thank him. Right, just raise your right hand and repeat after me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when these failing lips grow dumb, and when these failing lips grow dumb, and mind and memory flees, and mind and memory flees, when thou shalt in thy kingdom come, when thou shalt in thy kingdom come, Jesus, 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 Jesus remember me. Remember me, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. Thank you. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. Yes, Lord. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon thee and give thee peace, both now and forevermore. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. At this time, we will end this portion of the service and we move into our worship of giving. Praise God. God bless you. Back into the hands of Father. Thank you for joining Emmanuel House of Prayer this morning for our Sunday worship service. We hope and pray every song and most importantly, the word of God brought forth today was truly a blessing to you and your family. If this is your first time joining us, we currently have prayer meeting Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on Zoom. Please enter meeting ID. 
337-528-337-528. Bible study is every Thursday at 8 p.m. on Zoom as well. The meeting ID for Bible study is 704-868-378. Please enter password 3333 for all Zoom sessions. And of course, if you are physically unable to join us, we live stream every Sunday morning at 11 a.m. here on Facebook or EmmanuelHouseOfPrayer.org forward slash stay connected. If you are in need of prayer, or searching for a church home, we here at Emmanuel House of Prayer would love to pray for you and would welcome you with open arms. Join us on our website, EmmanuelHouseOfPrayer.org forward slash contact us. You can always visit our website, Facebook page, or Instagram for weekly church announcements and community news. Also, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page for free, Emmanuel House of Prayer FTL, where you can view all past Sunday morning worship services. And lastly, tithes and offering may be mailed to the church at 2820 Northwest 7th Court, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. 33311. God bless you all. Stay safe and stay connected.